morning from a very wild Lytham St Anne's. I've started off doing this bit of the vlog um, behind the light boat house um, building because when we go out there it's ridiculously windy, you're not going to hear a thing, but we'll have a go. So we arrived this morning and here we go, here's the wind. The water was in just about the right place for the jetty, which you can see behind me. What we hadn't banked on was just how ridiculous the wind was. Uh, it's bracing to say the least. So we decided to come down and have a go anyway. Uh, a little shout out for Tony Higginson for giving us the heads up on this place. In the right conditions, it would be absolutely phenomenal. I think I might have managed to get a, ooh, a couple of shots as it is. We're shooting at I think it was f11 and it was around about two seconds with just an nd grad on to even the exposure between the sky and the, the sea and that made the water milky in its own on its own so i just want to walk you down to the bottom the bit we were shooting has already disappeared it comes in really really quickly and because the wind is so strong I'm just going to turn you around here so you can have a quick nosy. Where you can see the waterline, sort of here, beyond that is some boarding that sticks out to either side of it across there. And we were able to shoot that with the water coming over it. What you're seeing on the camera in terms of a little bit of colour in the sky is slightly misleading. There is no colour in the sky. And it's about two half an hour before sunrise. But that's the view. Now I think I managed to get two shots shooting from quite low down that are actually in focus and in fact it's not so much in focus it's just camera shake because not only have you got the wind buffeting the camera but the water is coming in below the decking and hitting on the decking legs so that's creating vibrations as well oh dear sorry it's difficult trying to stay upright here Well, this might be the shortest vlog I've ever done. Lord above. We've come down to the shell <coughs> on Cleveland's Beach, which if we don't get blown away, you can see in the background there, the conditions are absolutely amazing. I've tried a couple of handheld shots, but I just can't get close enough with the 17 to 55 on. I've tried the 70 to 200, but it's playing silly buggers with me this morning. It just won't focus. <sighs> so we'll see what what things have turned out like when we get home and get things on the PC. <laughs> I've never been out in conditions quite like these. Crikey Moses. <sighs> She'll definitely sleep well tonight. Let's say I tried handheld. I was using F8, F9. Um, I bumped the ISO up to 250. I still wanted to retain a little bit of motion in the water, but I do like my smooth water. <sighs> right, we're going to go find something to eat because it's got to be breakfast time by now. <laughs> well, feeling refreshed after a bite to eat for breakfast. Um, we've come down to the front and if I can wiggle you around you should be able to see in the distance the pier with a big wheel now the tide has gone out or is going out and um, there's still loads of bloody chains across the steps saying no entry you see if we can get you around there a bit that's it um, and we decided seeing as we were just going to be at the bottom of the steps that it wouldn't be too much of a major problem and there's dog walkers around now so I'm not too concerned the tide is definitely going out 
and the sand is staying wet so I think we might hang around for a little bit to see if we can get reflections on the beach with it still being damp from the, the sea going out. I've got a couple of shots just looking straight out at the pier. I was using the 0.6 and 0.9 neutral density um, polyester filters just to smooth the wave action out slightly because, and there was some beautiful light on the actual pier itself and the big wheel. Unfortunately the sky in the background is a bit naff but who cares? You can't have it all. And it, it's one of those that just leaves you wanting more, leaves you wanting to come back again. So I'm going to sign off for now. Oh yes, shot. I knew I'd forget something. The last shot I got, I'm shooting with the 17 to 55 mil, and I was at a one second at F16, um, ISO 125, and that was at 38 mil on the 17 to 55. So <laughs> sorry you can't really see me. I'm just, just trying to keep myself as warm as I can because this wind is absolutely biting. So anyway, gonna leave it there for now. If I don't come back and see you again, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and I shall see you again very soon. Bye for now.